Mark the Movie Man here for the final cut at the new Horror Film Festival 2019, and I'm here with one of the film festival filmmakers. Actually, his film opened. It was called Welcome Home. I'm glad you could take a few minutes. Now, uh, in this one, it's a very interesting film because uh, you play two roles in here, plus you're directing, plus you're producing. Uh, how were you able to juggle so many hats? Was it a challenge? Was it fairly easy for you? What, what, what was kind of the challenge with that? It was definitely a challenge, but I enjoyed all of it. It was It's a process. Any film I do, it's always a challenge, but I enjoy challenges, and I, I like putting um, new roles um, out there and just like seeing what all I can do. Um, and especially when it comes to acting, two different roles is always going to be complicated. But I found a way through it, and that's kind of like... How I do things. <laughs> now you mentioned you did this for a class. Uh, how much of it did you did you storyboard any of it out, or uh, do a lot of pre-production? I imagine with you doing two roles, you had to do that. Yeah, initially I did a lot of um, storyboarding, trying to figure out what shot I was going to mm -hmm. get. Um, but then the main part was the script, trying to figure out how they were going to interact with each other. That was the hardest part. Um, but other than that, that was kind of what I did. Um, but yeah, storyboarding, script, um, figuring out what I wanted to show. And uh, I did a lot of practice too. So, <laughs> Did you have someone read lines off camera to help you with the dialogue or did you just kind of play it in your head? I, I kind of played it in my head how I imagined the other character would say it and then it would react to how they would say it. Actually, well, then it was really well edited because you couldn't really tell. Uh, now, you said you do a uh, romantic comedy as well, and you're doing horror. Is there a particular genre that you might be looking into because uh, you're going into digital media and filmmaking? Uh, is there a specific genre you want, or are you still trying to feel that out? I'm still trying to feel that out, but um, I really like horror. I like comedies. Uh, I love thriller. Those are kind of like my niche films that I kind of like going to. But if I had a choice, I would probably stick more towards um, like thriller, that type of in the in the medium. But also a little bit of comedy, just so it just makes it a little bit more fun. Well, nowadays it's harder to get films in any one particular genre, so you could mm -hmm. probably do all three. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that'd be a weird combo, but I'd like. The, the <laughs> Uh, now, uh, you're going to school, uh, do you have uh, ideas of maybe doing your own production company? What, what are you looking for in the future besides uh, the indie filmmaking? I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, I definitely want to be a filmmaker and I want to make movies, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. So, <laughs> And I, I have a feeling a lot of people feel the same, So, <laughs> but we'll figure that out. So, And you mentioned uh, you have Vimeo as well as a sequel coming out. Where can they find your stuff at? Because you do a lot of material, it sounds like, from the Q&A. Yeah, um, it's on Vimeo under Nick Volkers, N-I-C-K-V-O-L-K-E-R-S, and uh, that's where they can find all my short films and music videos and stuff like that. And final question, favorite horror film and why? <laughs> that is a really hard question. <laughs> oh, One on of spot. your favorites. I'm horrible at that, too. So. Um, I'm going to have to go with uh, The Shining, just because I love the psychological part in it just like makes you really think and I just love how the I, I love the color for example like that then the soundtrack and just the, oh, the shots are beautiful so I just love everything about that movie it's a fantastic movie so did you happen to catch the 4k restoration in the theaters that they did recently no I didn't actually yeah oh my it's the only horror film that still creeps me out today so i'm that's funny that you picked that but yeah they just did a 4k restoration you should see it it's freaking gorgeous so i will have to check that out i did not know that <laughs> <laughs> well thank you again sir you. appreciate your time